Let's try to evaluate 7 and 6 ninths minus 3 and 2 fifths. So like always, I like to separate out the whole number parts from the fractional parts. This is the same thing as 7 at plus 6 ninths minus 3 minus 2 fifths. And the reason why I'm saying minus 3 minus 2 fifths is this is the same thing as minus 3 plus 2 fifths. And so you distribute the negative sign. You're subtracting a 3, and then you're subtracting the 2 fifths. And so now we can worry about the whole number parts. 7 minus 3. Well, 7 minus 3 is going to give us 4. So that's going to give us 4. And then we're going to have 6 ninths minus 2 fifths. So let me think about what 6 ninths minus 2 fifths are. 6 ninths minus 2 fifths. Well, we're going to have to find a common denominator. So this is going to be the same thing. And I think the least common multiple of 9 and 5 is going to be 45. Literally, then multiplied. They have no common factors. So it's going to be over 45. They go from 9 to 45 to multiply by 5. So I'm going to have to multiply the numerator by 5. So 6 times 5 is 30. And then I'm going to subtract. To go from 5 to 45, I had to multiply by 9. So I have to multiply the numerator by 9 if I don't want to change the value. So 2 times 9 is 18. And 30, over, 30 40 fifths minus 18 40 fifths is going to be something over 45. 30 minus 18 is 12. So this is, if I, if I subtract these two fractions right over here, I get 12, 12 40 fifths. So it's 4 plus 12 40 fifths, or if we wanted to write it as a mixed number, this is equal to 4 and 12 40 fifths. But we're not done yet. We can simplify this further. 12 and 45 have common factors. They are both divisible by, they're both divisible by 3. So we can say that this is, actually they're both divisible by, yep, well we can, I think we can divide more after that. So let's see, if we divide the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3, we end up with 4 and 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 45 divided by 3 45 divided by 3 is 15 4 and 4 15 and actually we're done these two can't be simplified anymore 4 and 4 15